today we're going to take our color mix fish that we made secondary colors with and we're going to actually cut it out into a fish using a template. So you're going to first uh, choose a template. There's two kinds. There's a fish like this and then there's one that's got the two fins in the back. And you're going to put your paper down and it's okay if a little bit of it comes outside of your fish uh, template. So then you take a pencil, you're going to put your hand here and you're going to take your pencil and go along the edge and you might need a friend to hold the template. Alright, and there is our fish. And the next thing you want to do is take a pair of scissors. The scissors have two kinds of holes. There's a small hole and there's a big hole. And you always want to put your thumb in the small hole and you want to put your fingers in the big hole and you want to have your thumbs out away from you. And you always want to move your paper to change the direction of your cutting. You don't want to move your hand around. All right. So first you're going to take your scissors and you're going to kind of cut in like this. And then here's a little trick. You can actually take them out. You don't have to cut it all in one piece. You can come in this way. And I'm starting to get one section of my fish cut out. And then I just keep going around. And when I need to turn around the edge of the fish, I just turn my paper instead of my scissors. All right, and you're going to take these and you're going to put them in the garbage can. Next, we cut off the section that has your name on it. So you need to take your pencil and write your name on the back so that we know who made this wonderful fish. Then, in your box, there should be a marker like this. You just take the lid off and you can put it on the back like that. And you can start to add little details in, like an eye. We can put that mouth on there. And we can add in our scales. Put a little fin here. And then if you wanted to add any extra colors, what I want you to do is put the lid on your marker and make sure it snaps. And then look around at your table and see if there are any uh, yellow cups of markers. If you don't see one, you can go up to the shelf and get a cup of markers. And then you can use those to add colors, especially into those places that might have um, not gotten painted on. I'm going to take another secondary color here and add some purple.